And it's back to a two-point lead for Dallas. Threading the needle and creating second-chance opportunities. The Wings crash the board on every single offensive possession. Chicago has not done a great job boxing out. Oh, that's not good. Candace Parker down on the ground, and she looks like she's in a lot of pain. The play will continue, at least for now. Parker has scooted herself off the floor. It looked like initially she may have grabbed her ankle. And of course, Parker missed nine games this year at the start of the season with an ankle injury. You hope that's not what it is here. She is clearly in a significant amount of discomfort. Good scene here in Chicago, up under her own power and walking back to the dressing room. She looked like she was in a lot of pain on that possession and it happened away from the ball. Number three on your screen. Oh my goodness, goes against the foot there. A Thornton and just lands so weird on that left ankle, gets twisted up. Not pleased with the way that play went down, but at least for now, on the sideline still for Chicago, which is uh, a cause for a deep sigh of relief for everybody in the stands and watching at home. Well, and a big rule right now in the WNBA is making sure players have room to land so their feet do not land on each other. And although that was off ball, not the type of situation in which that rule would be enforced, there's a reason why that rule like that is in place because when you step on someone's foot, your ankle has no stability and can give out real easily. The sky tonight, a team excuse me, almost a team high, 14 points, quickly as a team high of 15, but Stevens has been massive, and you see Candace Parker with some ice on her knee right now, ice on the ankle. She is in flip-flops now, so she is done for the night, it appears. Having to watch the end of this one from the bench after